And you pleased this evening to help push for an additional protection from climate change. Local, state, and federal leaders are asking the public to add their comments to a plan to protect San Francisco's waterfront from the rising sea level. Yeah, it's an ambitious plan. They say will protect the city and serve as a model for other cities that follow. And as NBC Bay Area's Sergio Quintana tells us, the plan also comes with a multi-billion dollar price tag. Today's gathering of leaders was staged on San Francisco's waterfront because this is one of the spots that would be most impacted by sea level rise linked to climate change. Three to seven percent of the, the waterfront will be covered in water here in San Francisco if we don't act now. A seven and a half mile stretch of the waterfront from Aquatic Park to Heron's Head Park is the focus of a new draft flood plan. The set of steps at the Embarcadero is an example of what the concerns are if water levels rise just a few more feet, it could spell regular trouble for the city's waterfront. This is an animation showing what this spot could look like if sea levels continue to rise as predicted. You can see water affecting several streets. Another view from the recently built Chase Center shows how it would be surrounded with water. To avoid that, the city is looking at a major engineering effort in partnership with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The plan essentially involves raising a series of sea level walls and building several berms and levees. People will be standing on top of what we do because we'll be bringing up the ground. So you you might see a, a low wall that'll right. be two to three feet tall. One of the biggest challenges is the fact that much of the waterfront is infill. That means engineers will have to dig up some of it to build a more solid water-facing foundation for those berms and levees to rest on. Right now, the estimated costs are around $13 billion, and the hope is that the feds will pay about 65% of that bill. Even against the backdrop of partisan bickering, Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi says she's positive that money will make it to us, and the plan could be used to do the same in other cities. This is a small price to pay. It's an investment in the future. It is a template, but we in San Francisco always consider ourselves a model for the country. And because we are of national significance, we're able to attract the money. It will be a few years before blueprints are drawn up for construction and even more years till it's completed if the money comes through. Right now, the public is invited to comment on the draft plan at sfport.com slash WRP. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.